I remember reading somewhere a long time ago, this photographer Arnold Bruhl saying, the purpose of every real photographer should be to find an image in the world that reflects who they are. Unfortunately, I'm still looking for that pic. Hey man, you got a light? No, sorry. It's okay. I'm Adam. Sean. Wheeler. The Sean Wheeler. Yep. I thought I recognized you. You gave a seminar a few years ago at BH Photo. Oh, yeah. I did a few of those, and I inspire you to take up a glamorous life of photography. Actually, it's a little embarrassing. I'm one of those paparazzi guys I'm trying to get a picture of Roy Barnes. He's that crazy political talk show host. I got a tip that he's drunk at that restaurant with some new girlfriend. Oh, he's married, right? He's divorced. Guess he's tearing it up now that he's single. Oh, hey, I think I see my buddy, but I see you in Alan. Adam. Right. Good luck with everything. We said we had a fight. I'll see you around, Wheeler. Wheeler! Hey, Larry. Hey. What was that all about? Long story. Yeah, we'll make it a quick one, because you're not going to be here that much longer. What? The rent is due on the first of the month. How many times we got to go over this? It's the fourth. It's the seventh of the following month. You're behind two months. You see that? The picture on the front of the paper? I took that. Photo by S. Wheeler. It's gonna be all over the news for weeks. I'm gonna see my agent in a few hours. I'll get you a check. Cash. Cash. Today. Great. See this? It's an eviction notice. Read it. Got it. Kid, I hate to do this. I really do, but... I got a mortgage here, and I got a young wife to take care of. Mary's like two years younger than you. Yeah, but she spends my money like a chesty 22-year-old. Please, do me a favor, pay the rent. All right, I won't let you down, I promise. Was it really that small? Uh, yeah. You know, when I think of that pic, it's not even the size that's the most disturbing. It's the shape of it, the texture. It's like a Smurf's hat peeking out of wild and untamed shrubbery. That's vivid. Maybe we should do a gallery show. You want to do a series of photo shoots of freakishly small genitalia? Yeah, who else? Especially now, we'd get a lot of good press. You know, if you want a gallery of dick pics, I can show you a great website. Don't be crass. We are talking art, not pornography. Which one pays more? Depends on your agent. Hmm. 
There's only 3,500 here. What were you expecting? At least 10. Exclusives don't pay like they used to. <sighs> Man, still, 3,500? Well, I did take out the over $2,000 that you owe me. That, by the way, is something I am never doing again. Really? Well, it's not all bad news. I got you more work. Well, there's no more of this paparazzi stuff. That's why I left the magazine in the first place. <sighs> I seem to remember you were let go from that magazine. Technically, yes. I mentally checked out of there way before I got my last paycheck. Well, this paycheck is for a runway show. For who? Sebastian. Oh. Mm-hmm. And he asked for you specifically. He likes the vintage lenses that you use. And when is it? Tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight at midnight. It's a pop-up show. A small venue along the West Side Highway. OK, cool. I'm in. I'll uh, grab my gear. Send me the address? Yep. Sean, try not to mess this one up. Thanks for believing in me. Packages enter the building, clear the area, await instructions. Wheeler! Wheeler, I've been trying to call you all day, oh, man. Come on, Larry, here's your rent money right here. That's great, but that's not why I've been trying to call you, man. You got company. Celebrity. kind of host only has cheap wine and a half-eaten block of mozzarella? I didn't remember inviting you. And that is not mozzarella cheese. Listen, man, I'm just doing my job, all right? If I didn't take that photo, there are 10 other photographers a few feet away who would have. Incredible, isn't it? One little tiny camera can cause so much damage. You ruined my life, little guy. Didn't you? What are you talking about? You're a multi-millionaire TV show host with a rabid cult following. Your viewers will forget about it in a week. You think I'm worried about my viewers? They forgot about it already. Most of them are convinced it was a left-wing conspiracy smear campaign. Well, not the viewers, and what is it? It's about the women. The women. My ex-wife. Hyper-conservative, religious fanatic. You ever have sex with an evangelical? No. I have. Seven times a year for 25 years. See, I was finally a free man. I was a wealthy celebrity out and about the city with the most gorgeous gold diggers on earth. I was finally happy. And then you stole it. I have been labeled, buddy. I have a scarlet letter. On my groin. Every time I talk to a woman now, I feel self-conscious. And it's all your fault. I will have my revenge. And you'll never see it coming. This is just the beginning. <laughs> you don't look so hot. Hey, listen, man, I know I gave you all that cash, but I can't buy or rent a camera by tonight. <laughs> no way.
Wheeler! Oof. You don't look so good. You okay? Yeah, man, I'll be fine. Ah, so we missed you last week at the gallery opening for Precio's thing? Oh, yeah, I was across town and Melinda was gonna be there. How was the show? Uh, pff, oh, it was all right. Wasn't really that into it. Melinda was not there, but old Bradley Cooper was. Dude, not this again. What? The guy still owes me a hundred bucks. How much money did he make last year? You were in acting class with him like 15 years ago. He probably just forgot. Bullshit. He knows. Oh, yeah. He knows, and he's trying to get away with it. <sighs> anyway, I got your spot set up for you right in back. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. last glass more than I could. Um, yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Sean. Vanessa, nice to meet you. Actually, no, I've seen you here before. Oh, yeah, I usually sit up front, but today I need a little quiet time. Rough day? Yeah, you could say that. You? Um, Rough month. Ouch. You want to talk about it? You first. Oh, mine's a pretty sad story. It might just get you more depressed. I like sad stories. It makes me feel less alone. Okay. Well, let's see. <sighs> Two years ago, I was laid off from an awesome job with great perks that was creatively and financially rewarding. A couple of months after that, my supermodel fiance, literally a supermodel, not literally, figuratively, literally, literally a supermodel fiance broke up with me. And now she only calls me to hook up when she is in a fight with whatever guy she's dating at the time. You should have some wine because I'm not even halfway done. My rent has quadrupled. My income is the lowest it's been since I've graduated college. I was just robbed of the only things I own that have any real value. And because of that, I'm now going to miss the only opportunity I've had in years to be relevant again. I give anything to be irrelevant. You want to trade lives? Depends. What am I signing up for? Well, um, you would have just found out that you are the illegitimate daughter of a famous politician. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. And now every paparazzi and news outlet's trying to find out what I look like. Especially when I hear they're getting like 20,000 bucks for it. 20,000? Mm-hmm. Well, at least that's what I've been offered. I get calls about TV shows, magazine covers, walking red carpets. Everyone wants the first pick. It feels like I'm always in hiding. I'm sorry. I mean, it's okay. It could be a lot worse. No, I mean... I'm sorry for this. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. That's 20 minutes, everyone. Do you work with Sebastian? Hell no. I'm with my buddy, the photographer. So what do you do? I'm an actor. Really? I thought you looked familiar. Okay, what have you been in? Probably best known for Island of Love. Isn't that a reality show? Not the way I did it. So how does it feel, being back in the circus? Like I never left. Hey, thanks again for the money for the gear. <sighs> I only lent you that money because it's a huge exclusive, and I get 20%. And then Lando over there gets half of mine for the tip. How much are they giving us, anyway? Somewhere over 25,000. They said they'd call me in the morning and send over the agreement. You couldn't lock it in tonight? Not if you want the best price. I created a bidding war, which is what I do best. Okay. I guess. Yeah. 
All right, well, I'll get back to it. Sean Wheeler. I am so pleased that you and your fabulous eye could be with us tonight. Melinda speaks highly of you. I personally love the work you two did together. I think you single-handedly made her a supermodel. Oh. Isn't she perfect? Oh, Sebastian. Mm. You are the sweetest. Wheeler, it's been a while. Yeah, long, long time. You look good. So you two? Oh, yes, but keep it quiet. It's that whole student professor thing, me dating a model. Not too many people know about it. I must get ready for the runway. But it was nice to see you, Rita. Good luck tonight, Sebastian. So. Tonight is a very big night for me. It's my new spring collection. International press. And as you can see, I have celebrities lined up along the runway. That's what I want you to focus on. I need you to tastefully blend in these celebrities with the runway show. Have their status associated with my brand. I can definitely do that. Good. Roy Barnes is coming? Ah, yes, his girlfriend Lydia used to model for me. I guess she's sticking by him for all this small press he's getting. Good for her. Right. But he's not the only interesting guest we have. Remind me again, who's V. Lennox? Vanessa Lennox. Senator McCann's illegitimate daughter. This is her first appearance in public since the story broke. My PR team just told me. Apparently, she was eager to get in front of the cameras, and this was the biggest event of the day. We got lucky. There must be over 100 paparazzis out there. I believe I can hear her on the red carpet now. And she has to wear those shoes. Excuse me. I hope you kept the receipt. Oh. Vanessa, after hearing your story at Sebastian's fashion show, I, I felt I had to share this with the American people. Thank you. Honestly, as awful as the situation's been, it's been empowering because instead of hiding from the cameras, I'm embracing them and just owning the situation now. And I just heard that Sebastian has actually offered you to model in his fall catalog. Is that right? I hope you get to choose the photographer. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> We've become good friends and he's been a really great listener. Well, there you have it. <laughs>